and the preseason's over. I'm sure that's a good thing uh, for everybody in that room. But maybe your biggest takeaway as a group, or maybe as a coaching staff, that you like. Um, well, we've talked a lot about the the new depth that we feel like we have. Like, there's a lot of guys that um, had very good camps for us. So, in when we look at this camp, we feel it was a, a good one that we pushed the players hard. I thought they did a great job of, of staying with it. Um, as I mentioned, we saw some players elevate their level and, and put themselves in conversation. So overall, it was a, a positive count from our coaching staff's perspective. Yeah. What, uh, and I realize you have a bit of practice time, but what tells you this group is ready now for game one? Well, we didn't give much up tonight. And I talked this morning about that's one thing that I wanted to see. Um, and I thought we were really good at, at controlling the middle of the ice and not giving um, a good rush team a lot of room. Uh, so that's something you know, it makes me feel pretty good about. You didn't get the result we wanted tonight, but I thought um, we probably deserved better. I mean, I know that doesn't really mean anything at the end of the day, but I feel like our checking details were, were really good tonight. It must mean something to the coach when he can go home and go, okay, I, it beats the alternative where that last game you think, oh, geez, what, what am I watching? Here? Yeah, for sure. And, and that's... Like I said, I mentioned that this morning because this is basically all of our, our guys played tonight with the exception of maybe one or two, right? So you always want to see how they're going to respond when they're together. Are they still playing with that same work and that same pace that the younger guys are playing with because they're really hungry and they wanted to make an impression? And I thought they did a, a good job of that tonight. Um, the checking side, I still think that we can play faster on the offensive side, and that's something that we'll continue to work on. What did you think of uh, your, both sides of your special teams tonight? Um, penalty kill was good tonight, didn't really give much. There was the one chance late um, at the end of the first one. Uh, and the power play had some chances. It was still a little bit broken um, at times, but it did have some chances to score. Got some traffic through and got both your goals on yeah. deflections. That's got to be encouraging because those goals will work any time of year. When you look at most of our goals that we feel like that we've scored during the exhibition season, a lot of them have been tips or screens that guys are skating in front of goaltenders' eyes. And that's a good thing because it helps us sell the players that you have to be there and you have to be around the net. So, yeah, no, there was a lot over the course of the exhibition season. Rasmus Anderson had 12 shot attempts. That kind of fits right into what you're talking about there, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And even on the power play tonight for that unit, everything he pretty much touched, he was shooting. And that's what we want out of him. He's got a heavy shot. Um, it gives us another threat for a, a one-time option on the power play. And I, I think he's... It's, it's probably, I don't know how many years we've been together now, he and I, but maybe it's starting to sink in that we'd like to see him shoot more. See a, maybe an awkward play there with Sharon Govich. Do you have any update there? It happened so late last that I haven't seen Kent yet, so um, hopefully it's good news.